Hello, everyone. I am David Elizaga, CFO at Adrian Solidio, and we'll take you through our results highlights for our full fiscal year 2024 results presentations for the 12 months ending on the 31st of March 2024. Today, we believe that again we have delivered outstanding results. Outstanding because we continue each time we report to deliver or beat our own and market targets. In fiscal year 24, the strength of the prime model drove a strong growth and significant profit improvements again. Cash EBITDA grew 44% and we added 1.5 million new prime members. Some of the key highlights for today's presentations are, first highlight is our outstanding growth and delivery in fiscal 24. The prime business continues to grow rapidly and is now at an inflection point financially. Cash EBITDA was up 44% to 121.4 million euros and is expected to grow another 48% in fiscal 25 to 180 million euros. We continue to achieve significant improvements in profitability with cash EBITDA margin up eight percentage points in just two years since fiscal 22, rising to an 18% in fiscal 24. Prime members reached 5.8 million in fiscal 24, which is an increase of 34% during the last year. Prime is the fastest growing subscription program across all industries, reaching 5.8 million in fiscal 24. That's a compound growth rate of 177% over the past six years. Cash marginal profit is up 32% to 217.3 million, and the margin has improved six percentage points over the last year. And finally, our free cash flow, excluding non-prime working capital, more than doubled from 20 million in fiscal 23 to 45 million in fiscal 24, and is expected to double again in the next year. Our second highlight is about how the eDreams subscription model has proven to be effective. eDreams has the highest trust pilot scores among its peers at 4.4. This is 2.2 times greater than the average of OTAs and 2.9 times greater than the average of the airlines. This metric has had a 26% improvement since the Capital Markets Day we organized in November of 2021. Net Promoter Score continues to improve, a 52% improvement for Prime members since our Capital Markets Day, with 87% of our Prime customers today scoring us a 7 or above. Prime members book more. 3.8 times more than non-prime, and that's a 41% improvement since our Capital Markets Day. Churn rates continue to improve. Prime churn reduction of 12% for year two plus prime members and 1% for one year prime members since our Capital Markets Day. eDreams is a more stable and predictable subscription-based business. 76% of the cash margin or profit is from prime. And that's 26 percentage points improvement in just two years since fiscal 22. The percentage of year two plus members continues to grow. And that is like the key driver for improvement in profitability. 66% of the total cash revenue margin comes from year two plus members. And that is 44 percentage points more than fiscal 22. The third highlight is about a fiscal 25 guidance. For fiscal 25, we remain on track to meet our 180 million euros cash EBITDA target and prime members in excess of 7.25 million prime members and free cash flow generation X non-prime working capital to over 90 million euros, more than doubling versus fiscal 24. The fourth highlight is that we are announcing today an acceleration of the share repurchase program for the remainder of the original 5.5 million shares targeted. We will request authorization from the Spanish stock exchange regulator to launch a tender offer for 4.5 million shares at a price of 6.9 euros. We believe our stock is undervalued, we generate cash, and we want to buy it back quicker than under the original share repurchase program. The fifth highlight is about the longer term, the beyond 2025. eDreams has strong fundamental growth potential. First is the attractiveness of our segment of travel, leisure. We continue to benefit from the strong consumer demand for leisure travel, in which there is a clear structural shift from offline to online. We will benefit from eDream's ability to further increase household membership penetration 
from low levels in the markets in which we currently offer Prime. We will expand Prime into new markets, moving well beyond the 10 markets in which we currently operate. We will enter new customer segments, and we will further launch products and services under Prime. Profit margins were up significantly. This was due to the growing maturity of Prime members, resulting in strong improvements in profitability during the last fiscal year. In fiscal 24, cash margin of profit in our Prime segment improved by 8 percentage points to 40% on a 12-month basis from 32% in fiscal 23. Cash EBITDA also improved substantially by 4 percentage points, increasing to 18% on a 12-month basis from 14% in fiscal 23. We are a subscription business focused on travel and not a transaction-based business. Let me remind you that when looking at Prime versus not Prime, we still think it makes more sense to look at our business on a last 12-month basis, as Prime is an annual subscription business and seasonality impacts the patterns of net ads in a particular quarter. The non-prime part of the business is also influenced by seasonality patterns. We have reached in the last 12 months a 61% share of cash revenue margin and 76% share of cash marginal profit being delivered from prime members versus 46 and 56% a year ago. We are definitely a subscription-led business. In fiscal 24, we delivered a strong growth in cash EBITDA and substantial improvements in margin as prime membership maturity increases. In fiscal 24, we delivered solid growth in cash revenue margin, increasing it by 9% versus the same period last year. This was achieved following the continued successful expansion of the Prime member base. Cash revenue margin for Prime rose by 63%, resulting from 34% growth of Prime members and because Prime ARPU increased to 78.1 euros. Cash marginal profit and cash EBITDA improved 32% and 44% respectively, between fiscal 23 and fiscal 24. As guided, the maturity of prime members is the key driver for profitability and significant and constant membership growth has resulted in sharp profitability improvements as increasing numbers renew membership. Cash marginal profit margin increased six percentage points to 32% for fiscal 24 from 27% in fiscal 23. Cash EBITDA margin in fiscal 24 also achieved very substantial improvements and it stood at 18% versus 14% in fiscal 23, that's a four percentage points advance. Our business is making a faster transition towards subscription and with higher margins than we anticipated back in our investor day of November 21. Back then, we expected to have cash marginal profit margins of 34% in fiscal 25. We now believe this margin should reach 38%. And that will be an increase of six percentage points from the current margins of fiscal 24. This will be as a result of more, more of our business being prime and also generating better margins within prime. Cash EBITDA was up 44% year on year to 121.4 million euros, which compares to 84.4 million in fiscal 23, and is expected to grow another 48% in fiscal 25 to 180 million euros. Let me now leave you with some final closing remarks. eDreams has significant growth opportunities. Prime today is represented in only 10 of the countries in which it operates and will continue to open new markets to drive future growth. Furthermore, we are just starting. Today, we only have a 3.2% household penetration in the seven European markets in which we have launched Prime. There are huge growth opportunities ahead of us. European markets, on average, only 3.8 years since launch, showing similar or better performance than France that launched six and a half years ago. Since very early days, EDU has been recognized as a leader in artificial intelligence in Europe, always being a step ahead. If you go back to our first strategic presentation to US investors back in 2015, we said that we would distinguish ourselves through leading in technology that would enable great product and customer experiences. While others may be turning their attention now to AI, given that AI has so much external press, we however have been doing this for almost a decade. For us, this is part of our DNA, and we have been repeatedly recognized for this. Google repeatedly acknowledged in public that eDreams is one of the most advanced companies in AI in Europe. For fiscal 25, we remain on track to meet our 180 million cash EBITDA target 
n prime members in excess of 7.25 million prime members. eDreams has huge potential, superior returns for shareholders and customers while transforming and revolutionizing the industry. Furthermore, we are confident in the growth and profitability manifested in our guidance and also believe our stock is clearly in the value. As a result, we are announcing today an acceleration of the share repurchase program for the remainder of the original 5.5 million shares targeted. We will request authorization from the Stanley Stock Exchange Regulator to launch a tender offer for 4.5 million shares at a price of 6.9 euros. We will consider subsequent share buybacks as we continue to generate free cash flow on an ongoing basis. I would like to conclude by highlighting the strong fundamental growth potential we have beyond fiscal 25. Prime is only currently available in 10 countries, yet as a transactional model, we are in 44 countries. Thus, over time, we will continue to expand Prime to many more countries. Also, within each country where Prime is currently offered, we are nowhere near the normalized household penetration. This will provide further growth. In third place, many successful subscription programs evolve into more segmented offers by product and customer segments. These two provide significant growth opportunities for us. Overall, eDreams of is now a much higher quality business with the pivot to our subscription model. This delivers loyal and repeating customers, resulting in a more and more profitable and predictable business. We are delivering high underlying profitability and have huge growth potential. Prime is a success and has become firmly established. It has delivered significant uplifts in profit margins. That will continue because we have the right model, the right people and the right structure to seize and deliver on the exciting value creating opportunities ahead of us. All of this will drive superior returns for shareholders, excellent service for customers, whilst at the same time transforming and revolutionizing the industry. Thank you very much for your attention today. If you have any further questions, please contact our investor relations team headed by David Arroz. Thank you.